Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is the Frankenbosch washing machine. This video is just going to be a quick update on what I've done to this machine so far to get it prepared with two motors. It started off life as a WAE2844 German model and I've since added a second motor. So I've got a motor up on top here which is I think a Bosch motor and I've got another Bosch motor way down there in the bottom. So what have we got here? We've got couple of pieces of timber just screwed straight through to the metal and then screwed timber to timber and then some brackets just put up on onto the timber there to hold that motor in place and it's it stays on when you run it I haven't run it at any great speed it shouldn't come off that mo that belt is a bit ropey but it is what it is you can see there the edges are a bit frayed and stuff but we'll see what we'll just see what happens you know we'll see what happens most of it's stripped down, it does have the ballast underneath, or the ballast on the front, but it doesn't have the top ballast anymore. And the other thing I've done is, I've rigid mounted it, so I've put the original transport screws back in. Three out of four, one broke on the way. So it's rigid mounted, so if it's going to dance, it should dance pretty lively, because the suspension's pretty much obsolete on it. I could always take the front ballast off it, but I don't think I will at this stage. So we've got two belts, a regular one I suppose, on the, on the big pulley, and an extra fast one small pulley to small pulley so the idea is that the bottom one will get it up to some speed and then the top one will help it over speed and it should work don't know how fast it'll go but we'll find out it's rated at 1400 revs per minute i think we can go faster with two motors i just want to see what's going to happen so what i was going to do is just wire the bottom motor straight into the power and let it go as fast as it possibly can measure the speed and of course at that point it'll be dragging this motor and then plug that one in and crank it up and see what happens. I'll try a few different things maybe, I might just fail miserably, but I think it's worth a go now that I've gone to the bother of making this stupid contraption. Like I said, it is just an update, but I think this could be, could be quite a lot of fun. No plans to throw a brick in it, this is purely for science, just to see how fast we can make it go. So tell me what you think in the comments, if there's anything I've overlooked or anything I should be doing extra or differently, just let me know. So that's going to be coming soon, I just need to get a bit of time to figure it out and do some tests, see how it runs. So stick with me, thanks for watching.